Book Creator is a wonderful app for many, many different reasons. Um, Book Creator is on the third row of my apps. It says Book Creator and it's kind of rainbow colored with a book on the front and scissors on there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that up. And when you initially open up Book Creator, they give you a kind of a book to preview and start and look at. And so it's called Getting Started. It's a short tutorial and it was created by the Book Creator team. And you can see I have three options all the way down at the bottom. I have a bookshelf, I have a play button, or I have that action up button. I'm going to ignore all three of those, and I'm going to just click right inside, right on top of the title page, so that I can actually get inside the book. And so you can see all the way at the top, I have a couple of options. I have my books, so it'll go back to my library kind of thing. I have pages, so when I click on those pages, it provides all the pages that are in my actual book. And what I can do here is I can edit these and I can rotate the, the order around if I wanted to. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cancel that. Um, I also have the plus, but, the plus button, the I, and the play button, and we'll get to those in a couple of minutes. So in order to get to the next page, I'm going to hit that big old arrow on the right-hand side of your iPad. So go ahead. And now I'm on page two, of th two and three of nine pages total. And you can see that in the middle, all the way up top with that, that bar up there. And so what you can see here is there's titles of um, certain texts. You can do regular text. You can insert pictures. And you can position context, content wherever you'd like it. And so this is a great tutorial, kind of what I'm going over with you. So I'm going to hit the arrow again, and we're going to go to page four and five. This time it's showing me that I can add pictures that I want to. And there's an I for the inspector tool. I can change both the text and the page, and I'll get into that in a second. I'm going to hit that there as well. Um, now it's saying give it a go. Why not explore Book Creator by adding some of your own content to this page? And then you're gonna you're building your book and you can tap on pages and then edit them, which I showed you already. And then if I go one more page, go ahead and reading the book now. And so when we hit that action up button, um, we can do that. And there's also support that goes with it. And so I'm going to go back to my books. And the reason I'm going to go back to my books is because we're going to get started with a new book. And so you kind of have an idea of what that looks like. So in the top right-hand corner, there's the orange button that says New Book. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create it. And you have six different options for books. You can do a portrait. You can do a square or landscape. And those top three model uh, options are all plain, plain old books. The bottom three options are more your comics. And so you have a portrait comic, you have a square comic, and you have a landscape comic. I don't care which one you do. Think about how you might be able to use this in your classroom. I personally, for, for the bang for the buck, I like the landscape because it gives a lot of information. I like to go the square sometimes because I like to do one page at a time. And then the portrait's good for somebody that might just have a little bit of text and just a little bit of information. So for intents and purposes here, I'm going to pick the square book. And so it goes with the cover right away. And so we went over the top left, now we're going to go over the top right items. You have three items there, I'm going to start with the plus. And when I hit that plus button, I have photos, I can go to my camera, I can go to my pen, I can add text, I can add sound, and then there's media and more. So I can simply go to my photos and it's going to open up my, um, my camera roll, and I can go ahead and I can take pictures of anything. So you saw this picture before. So there's my good old dog, Bentley, laying on my bed. And so if I pinch from the corners, all I have to do is pinch the corner there and I can make it smaller. And I can readjust this and put this wherever I want. So I'm going to kind of make it a little bit bigger so that I see Bentley. So again, if I hit the plus button, that was the, the picture, the photos. I can then also open up my camera roll. And I can go ahead and I can take a picture of anything I want. But you can also see that I have a video. So I can change this to a video. So I can record a video. And what you're seeing here is I'm down in my basement. And so we can record a video. I'm going to hit stop. And then it's going to give me that option to A, retake it, play it, or use the video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the video. And so now it's inserted that video. And what I can do is I can shrink that down as well. If I had a video of Bentley going down the steps or something, it would have been more appropriate. But he wasn't coming down the steps at that point. So again, that was by hitting the plus button. I have photos, camera, and now I can add a pen. And so I can change a bunch of different things. Right now it's black ink. If I click and hold, click that down, I get, first of all, the rainbow of different colors. So if I wanted to do blue, I could click blue. And then also I have the magic ink down here as well. So if somebody likes the sparkles and really wants to get 
So that looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so again, and if I wanted to do just some basic text, I can change the my thickness, or I could also change what I'm doing here. So I, right now I'm on the pen. I could change it to a crayon. You can see that how that writes a little bit different. Um, I have the highlighter, so I can highlight things if I wanted to, which is great. And then again, the different tips. The next, I have an eraser, so I can erase something if I don't want it anymore. And then I have the smiley face, which gives me all the, the emojis that I need. And so they're all there, and you can see I can change the different menus. And so you're familiar with the emojis. And so they're there, and so I can hit done. And so I go back to the plus button one more time. So that was doing the pen. Now I can add text. See how it has the predictive text at the top there? And I'm going to hit done. And so here's my text now. And then notice the blue boxes around that. Whenever there's a blue box around anything, I can hit the I. And now I can change the size of that font. So right now it's 18. I can dr simply drag this up here. And I can make it 79. I could change the font by, oh, sorry, let me go back. I can bold, italicize, and underline. I could change the font by clicking the arrow next to where it says Open Sans. And so it gives me all these different types of fonts. And then there's some handwriting and some just fun different things. And then so now I change that there and I can hit the back button. I can change the color of the font. And so I have basic colors up top here. And if I go to more, it kind of gives me that rainbow effect so that I want to do, so if I wanted to pull a different color and I could. So I'll hit the back again. And then the background would be just in that particular box itself. So right now it's nothing, but I can change it to gray. Hmm. Oh, I didn't change, I was on the color, sorry. So now I'm on the background. And so there we go. And so that, that's what that looks like. And again, so I have to be clicked in there so that I see the blue all the way around it. And then I can click the eye. I could do a shadow on the text, which I'm not particularly fond of that. And then I could align it. I could move it to the front or back, or I could just delete that box altogether. And so that's gone now. I'm gonna give myself a new page by clicking that arrow over there to the right. When I go to the plus again, I can add sounds. So I can record myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit the big red circle there. It's recording me now so that I can record anything that I want. What a great option for students that might have IEPs. Yep, I'm finished. This kind of reminds me of the old PowerPoint back in the day. Um, so now I can click on that. It's recording me now so that I can record anything that I want. Okay, so you can see what that looks like. So I've done all those what, five different things. I also have media. Media doesn't wanna work. If I go to more, I also have shapes. And so I can add different shapes here. So if I wanted to add a square, I can add my square. Now, think about this for a second. Right now it's a purple square. I wanna make it a different color. I'm gonna click the eye, and now there's the color, and I can change it to whatever I want. Okay, so I'm going back to the plus, I'm going to more. So those are all the different shapes. Plus button again, more. Um, I have files on my iPad, and we haven't even really gone over that, but that's a place that you wanna, if you wanna hold certain things from different apps. Um, there's also this new feature called a map. And so we can add a, a road map of something. We could change it to a satellite map, or we could do a hybrid map. And so if I do, Poplar Road in Boyertown, Pennsylvania. Okay, so I can go ahead and I can do that, and I can hit Done, and it's gonna insert that map for me. So this is a newer feature that came out um, within Book Creator. And so, again, for the eye, I can move it to the back. I can give alternative text for it. If I go to the plus, and I go more again. Um, the last one is the web embedded. So if I click on that there, 
it's going to ask me for a, an actual embed code for a web page. And so if you think about that, if you can't find the frame code by the web address, and we'll do our best to do that for you. Um, so you can go ahead and you can embed different things. So if you think about edu creations for our screencasting, you can embed that right in there because it has an embed code. Um, anything that might have an embed code, you can put that in the text there and then hit next and it would insert that for you. And so again, that was by hitting the plus button. Um, I'm going to go back to my books. And right now you can see that it's called A New Book and it's by A.N. Author. To change who it's written by, I'm going to simply click inside there, and now I can say Bentley, and it was written by Eric Whitmer, and I can hit Done. And so now it says Bentley, and it says by, by me. I can hit the Action Up button, and I can export it as an EPUB, I can export it as a PDF, I can export it as a video, or I can publish it online. For intents and purposes of this course, you're going to export it as an EPUB. And so when I go ahead and I, I do that, then I get different options. And look, there's Canvas student, and I can then find the assessment that goes with it, or the assignment that goes with that. So there is Book Creator, a great tool.